happy people I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because I finally got my color scoop in from Enel Couture and I want to open it with you guys and see what goodies we got um, I did end up ordering a color scoop and another super scoop and I think they packaged it all in one because it came in one big box so this is how it came packaged you guys um, it's the same size as my last box so um, that leads me to believe it, they did do the super scoop and the color scoop together and it's heavier than my last box So I think they both in here um, Only thing I noticed with this package is that it came just slightly damaged during shipping But hopefully none of the contents spilled out. But yeah, y'all let's hop into this and see what I got. Okay As you all can see, before I open this all the way up, I did get one color scoop and one super scoop in this order. So this is probably going to be a two-part video. I'm going to do the color scoop first, and then I'll probably just do a sep separate video with my second super scoop unboxing. So let's see how they packaged everything, though. We might get a sneak peek of both, okay? All righty. Okay, I see a little sneak peek here. So this is the, the paper they put on top. And it says here, color scoop. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. I was hoping I got these. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. Oh my gosh. Hey. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, we're going to do this color scoop first. So I'm going to just take out all the stuff that says color scoop. So here's one. Here's the other part of the color scoop. Other part of the color scoop. More color scoop. And then this color scoop. I don't think this is color scoop. This might have been included in the actual super scoop so I'm gonna try not to do too much of a sneak peek look at me oh okay I'm gonna do too much of a sneak peek here but oh my gosh okay oh my gosh okay okay oh, oh my gosh I see some cool stuff in here okay let me stop all right so I'm gonna do my super scoop in a separate unboxing so y'all stay tuned to that this is gonna be straight up the color scoop oh my god y'all I'm I'm already floored right now okay <laughs> oh goodness oh my gosh you guys what a great birthday present so actually um, today is the day after my birthday and I was supposed to open these up on my birthday but didn't get a chance to because it was so busy but I'm excited because oh my gosh look at all of these oh I'm so happy wow y'all this was exactly what I was wanting in my color scoop this is so crazy so okay we're gonna start so it looks like you got um, the it's four different collections each collection has um, six colors in it and let's get the swatch in this so the scoop the color scoop um was 35 dollars um and the super scoop used to be 60 but i saw that both of these prices have since went up now the color scoops are like 55 bucks so i'm glad i got them when i did because i also got them at a discount too he had like a 35 percent off for the like dragon new year sale the lunar new year so oh my i just can't believe i got these right here like i'm floored right now i'm so floored right now and I see some happy gels. This is just amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's get the unboxing, y'all. And before I get into the video, on my nails, I do have on Eno Couture Polish. I decided to just do a regular gel mani. Um, I didn't really feel like doing all the extra razzle-dazzle to my nails. So I do have on Eno Couture Polish right now. It is his uh, BB Ombre Gel. And it's in the color BB216. And this color does glow in the dark. So I'm like really enjoying his products. I'm loving everything they do. I'm loving how they perform. So I'm super ecstatic to have more of his gel polishes. So let's hop into it, okay? So I'm going to start off with this one here. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm just so excited. I can't believe it. I actually got where I wanted. Wow. <clears throat> this is cool. All right. So these are the first six colors here. Actually, I'm going to just get everything unpackaged, okay? I can't believe I got these. That's so cool. Wow. 
I can't believe I got these. OMG, how beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited for these. Okay. So, as y'all can see, let me try to get it all lined up here. As y'all can see, these are all the collections that was included in my color scoop. We have here the Fun Gel collection. Here we have the Precious Minerals collection, I guess the regular gel polish collection, and then the Galaxy Kitter Kitty collection. So I'm going to go through each one of these and show you all what they look like. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to swatch them all out. We'll get a close look at all the beautiful colors that was included. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts on this color scoop. Okay, so I'm going to go through each of these colors and show you all them up close. The first collection I'm going to be going through is the Fun Gel collection. I actually don't have any of his gel polishes from the Fun Gel collection. So I'm excited to see what this consistency is like. So this is color uh, 089. Ooh, wow. This is a really beautiful peachy color that has a lot of iridescent slash hollow glitters in it. That's really gorgeous. I don't know if I have something like this. And I like the consistency of it. I like the consistency of all his polishes. I like that they're on the thick side because I feel like when you work with thicker polishes, you have more control. I feel like I did see um, in someone's video that the fun gels are thermal changing. So I'll have to test it out when I'm giving them a swatch. But that is the first color, 057. Ooh, that's really pretty. This is like a teal glitter blue color teal greenish color is really really nice it's very thick and chunky glitter very gorgeous zero two seven oh pretty this here is a really beautiful green has a lot of nice fine glitters and shimmers to it this is really gorgeous this would be a perfect color for st patrick's day that's a lovely green zero one four oh how pretty this just reminds me of like fairy dust so this is kind of like a milky white base that has a really beautiful um, iridescent glitter to it. Has that greenish, bluish, slightly pinkish shift to it. This is really gorgeous. I feel like it'd be really nice as a topper. 096. Oh, how beautiful. This is a beautiful yellow glitter or shimmer color. Love this. 097, which is a really beautiful purple with some iridescent glitters in it as well. So I am going to go ahead and go ahead and swatch them out by collection. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these six colors out really quick. 089. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. It's really nice. It's kind of like a jelly glitter color. You'll definitely need to go in with two coats of it, but it's gorgeous. Wow. Oh, it smells good too. Yummy. It kind of smells like the Nail Reserve polishes, kind of like the Hubble Bubble Bubble Gum. Really nice, sweet scent to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my gray background here. Just so that you all can see the color contrast when I'm swatching, okay? Let me go ahead and put that here. 057. Oh, this one thick, thick. Oh, but she pretty though. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous she is. Absolutely stunning. Uh, that's really pretty. I love how concentrated these glitters are, wow. I mean, you could really get away with one coat if you wanted to. That's pretty. Yeah, I like that. 027. Oh my gosh. This look like money green, y'all. Whoo, this look like a million dollars. I love this. How pretty. Now this is definitely one coat coverage. Y'all see that? One coat and you done? Oh, that's a pretty green. I love this. 014 lovely yeah this would be a really nice topper so this is that it's actually a clear base i thought it was milky so it's a clear base with um hollow no with iridescent flakes in it it's really really pretty zero nine six. Oh, i mean these colors are gorgeous y'all i love it absolutely beautiful wow and these smell so good so this is that yellow with the fine glitter, super beautiful, 097. And that's that purple in this collection. Really, really gorgeous. These colors are just, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Alrighty, so these are all the colors from the Fun Gel collection. I'm gonna just go ahead and give you guys as up close as of it. 096, which is this really beautiful, like neon, kind of lemonade yellow with some beautiful um, iridescent 
glitters in it. 089, which is this gorgeous peachy color with iridescent glitters. 097, which is a purple color with iridescent glitters. 014, which is kind of like a clear base with iridescent glitters. 027, which is this beautiful glitter money green color. Love it. 057, which is this really beautiful, it's kind of like a light blue tealish um, glitter but it's so dense and has so much depth to it I absolutely love the shift in it I thought it was really cool with the fun gel collection it looks like all of these are kind of from the same series so to speak and then these two um, were one-offs but man uh, love the glitters in these collections um, now let's move on to the precious minerals collection this here is the precious minerals bottles I absolutely love the packaging on these this probably is so far my favorite packaging for the you know couture gel polishes I love the raised lettering and stuff on the front but these are 10 ml bottles the first color I have here is 178 Ooh, this is a really beautiful black color that has it looks like it has foil flakes and gold glitter in it I have another black glitter from them but um, it doesn't have this much dimension to it and so many special pieces in it so I'll be excited to swatch this out this is really nice 179 oh wow really beautiful chunky gold glitter with some hollow flakes in it 200 oh wow this is a really cute jelly blue color with some really fine hollow glitters in it. That's gorgeous. Love it. 205. Oh, how cute. Look at this, you guys. This looks like it's a sheer nude. Oh, my gosh. I can already tell I'm going to get a lot of use out of this color. Super pretty, super cute. Love it. 211. Oh, so cute. So this is a really nice periwinkle blue. Now this one is a little bit thicker and a little bit goopier. So I'm thinking this one's almost on its way out. Um, but I think I'll still be able to salvage some use out of it. But it's thick. Like it almost feels like clay. Um, but it's almost on its way out. But I think I'll still be able to get some use out of it. So it's a really pretty blue though. 191. Oh how cute. Which is a really, it's another nude color. It looks really similar to the other one I just showed. The tops look the same. Let's see, are they the same? Oh no, they're slightly different. Huh. Look at that. I honestly thought they were exactly the same. Oops. But they are ever so slightly different, if you all can tell. Maybe once I get them swatched out, you'll be able to tell a little bit better. But this one's a little bit deeper. This one's a little bit more peachier. I'm happy to have two of these nudes. How cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these all swatched out. 178. Oh, how fun. I just got Halloween vibes instantly from this color. Oh, I just love the versatility of his products. This is so cool. Look at this. Like, when can't you create some really cool Halloween nail designs with this? So it's a, a clear base that has really fine hollow glitters in it with blacks with back uh, foil flakes. That's so cool. I can see all type of Halloween designs with this. One seven nine. Oh, see, now I thought these were gold glitters. These are actually gold foils. These are foil flakes in here. There is some thicker. No, oh, these are all foil flakes. Yeah, that's cool. So it's fine gold glitter in here with um, hollow foil flakes and solid gold foil flakes. Wow. Yeah, his, po his polishes are very unique. I must say that 200. Yeah, that's cute. Nice jelly blue with some glitters in it. 211. Yeah, this one's like super thick, y'all. I mean, this mug is on its way out. But again, I think I could still get some good use out of it. It really feels like clay, which is crazy. But it is self leveling, which I ain't mad at. See how it still self levels? It's a little lumpy bumpy, but we're gonna make it work. It's a really pretty, pretty periwinkle, so I'll go ahead and cure. Yeah, you can definitely still get use out of it. You see how it just self level? Yeah, very nice. 205, which I'm so excited to have. I can't believe I got some jelly nudes. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> this reminds me of one of my favorite jelly nudes from like. Nail Reserve and Madam Glam. Y'all, you can do so much with these Jelly Nude colors. I am excited to have this. 191. 
Oh, oh I just love these. I can already tell you I'm going to use these up in like 2.5 seconds. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I got some jelly nudes. Wow. These are all the colors that was included in the Precious Minerals collection. I am just over the moon, especially at these two colors, y'all. Holy crap. But um, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Um, so this here is 178. And I just absolutely love this color. If you all can see um, just it against that gray background. This is just a cool topper color. I feel like it'd be really nice for any type of Halloween design. I mean, it almost looks like it has webs in it, doesn't it? I just love it. It's black, gold, hollow flakes, glitters. I just I just love how how unique and different all of his uh, gels are, really. So that's 178 from Precious Minerals. This here is 179, and it's this really beautiful gold um, hollow. It's a gold glitter with hollow foil flakes as well as gold foil flakes in it. it just again, it's the depth, it's the dimension, it's the uniqueness for me. Love it. 200, and this is a really densely packed. At first, I thought it was a gel. Well, it is still a jelly color. It's a deep blue jelly that has some really beautiful hollow glitters in it. Just ah. These colors are just so beautiful. Love it. 211. And that's that color that's kind of sort of on its way out, but it's still performed and leveled just nicely. Um, it's just like a periwinkle blue with some really cute, fine glitters in it. And my favorite colors from this uh, color scoop so far are 191, which is this really beautiful jelly nude. I know there's nothing too, too special about this color, but these colors right here create a really nice foundation to do a variety of different nail art looks. I love having jelly nudes because you can really build up the opacity. Um, these are perfect for French tips, glitter ombres, etc. So I'm happy to have this. And then also um, I got number two. And this here is 205. And this is another really beautiful uh, jelly nude. And this one here has more of a peachy undertone. I'm going to show you guys them side by side. At first I thought they were the same color. But you can see they're ever so slightly different. This one here is more of a brown base. This one here is more of a peachy base. And I'm just loving both of them. So... Uh, yeah, I, I love the Precious Mineral Collection as well, the colors that I got. Um, so now let's move on to uh, the Gel Polish Collection. So this here is the Gel Polish Collection. These are how these bottles look. I like the gold um, lettering on the pink background. And these are full-size bottles. They're 15 ml. And the first color I got here is 132. Oh, really beautiful. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh my god, these colors are so pretty. Um, so this here is a really beautiful kind of silver gold um, glitter. Again, this, these are the type of colors I go for when I'm doing glitter ombres. So the fact that I have that nude base from Precious Minerals and this glitter, I'm going to be able to do some real cool glitter ombres with this. absolutely love it. So I got this, 191. Ooh, and this is a really beautiful deep wine color. And it has some really nice, fine, um, deep glitters in it. Like, the glitters look like they are kind of layered inside of the polish, which is really nice. 098. Ooh. This is a really beautiful, fun pink glitter color. 182. Oh, wow. This is a really pretty, this is kind of like a chameleon uh, mauve color, a mauve chameleon color, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's really cool, different, unique. 142. Oh, beautiful. There's a really beautiful blue glitter color. Absolutely gorgeous. 152. Oh my gosh, how cute are these colors? This is a really beautiful, nice blue color with some more glitters in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these swatched out. 132. Really pretty, oh my gosh. I absolutely love this glitter, gorgeous. 191. Beautiful, 098. One eight two. One four two.
152. These are all the colors that was included in the gel polish collection. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys up close to each one. This here is color 182 and it's a really pretty nude that kind of has like that metallic chameleon shift to it. It's like a greenish bluish shift to it. It's really pretty. 132 which I am obsessed with. I love this glitter. It's going to be perfect for doing glitter ombres. 191 which is, re which is this really beautiful deep plum purple that has these um, deep uh, glitters to it. I like how they it kind of look like they're layered and just um, deep within the gel polish itself. It's a really, really pretty color. 098, which is this really beautiful, fun, light pink glitter with some hollow in it. 142, which is this gorgeous glitter blue. 152, which is this really pretty um, blue with glitter in it as well. I feel like I have a color that's similar to this from Not Polish um, that I got in my Not Polish mystery box, but this is really gorgeous as well. These are all the colors that came in the gel polish collection. Now let's get into the Space Kitty collection. And last but not least, you guys, I am so excited to have gotten the Galaxy Glitty, ugh, the Galaxy Kitty collection. Let's take a moment for this bottle. It's absolutely stunning, you all. OMG, like I love it. Um, I love that it has this ombre silver that goes into a, a gold tip. Um, I like the whole silver bottle as a whole. Um, this says that it is a 5D cat eye gel color. So yeah, y'all, let's take a look at what this is looking like. OMG. It says that it's a 5D 15 ml cat eye. And um, yeah, so it's a full size bottle, you guys. I really like these. Ooh, ooh, these are different. I think I have like a, a few colors like this from uh, Born Pretty, but absolutely loving this consistency. I love how thick it is. I'm gonna be really excited to play around with these with some magnets. So that's 010, 007. Oh wow, this is really pretty. This is like uh, a glitter clap cat eye with like a bluish purple shift to it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how these look with the cat eye effect. Zero one one. Oh my gosh, it's just so much depth to these colors. I just can't even, I don't even know where to start. These are absolutely beautiful. Zero zero nine. Oh wow, look at that purple, really gorgeous, kind of purple goldish shift to it. Zero zero four. Oh, and this says Space Kitty. Oh, is there a difference? Or are these the same? One says Galaxy Kitty, the other one says Space Kitty. I guess they're the same, I really don't know. Well, they look about the same. I think he maybe just updated the packaging. I think they're the same. Well, that's cool. <laughs> they got two different packaging. Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. So it's like, it has like a, it has red, pinkish, yellow, goldish shift to it. A little bit of green in there too. Then the last one here is 012. Wow. And this one here has a green bluish shift to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched out. Um, I had, so somebody just told me a hack for how to store your um, magnets. So you know how we got like a, these 10 cans, these 10 storage boxes, the My Candy boxes and the scoops. So I've been storing all of my like uh, cuticle sticks as well as like my files that I've gotten from some of my scoops. But somebody said they had the most genius idea of putting the magnets at the top of this thing. And I said, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea because right now, right now my magnets are just all stuck together like this. I thought I had more magnets than this, but I guess this is all I have. But how genius is this to just stick it right here? Oh my gosh, so now my magnets. So now I know exactly where to find my cat eye magnets. Oh, did it stick this to you? Let's see. Oh, it did. Oh, how funny. So maybe I'll just stick it right here then because that just closed it and shut. So I'll stick them right here. This way I know exactly where they are at, okay? Yeah, that's perfect. I absolutely love that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this magnet for today's video. But that's just a little hack for you guys. Even if you wanted to, you can stick it on the outside of the box too. So genius to do. Yeah, so anyway, like that. Zero, one, zero. Wow. Oh, these might need a black base to them. 
Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can swatch them out without anything and see what it does. And what I like to do with my cat eyes is I'll just hold the magnet over it diagonally and let that cat eye just kind of move to the middle. So you guys see that little shift there? Yeah, you see that? Go ahead and cure. Zero, zero, 007. Oh, this one is way more opaque than the other one. Very nice. Okay, so you might be able to get away with these without a black background. That's nice. Look at that. These are pretty on their own. And then here's the cat eye effect. Look at that. Gorgeous. Go ahead and cure. Zero, one, one. Really pretty purple. And you just hold it diagonal. See the little shift, then I'll cure. Zero, zero, nine. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that purple. Gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Go ahead and cure. Zero, zero, four. Oh, wow. Yeah, these just got so much depth and dimension to them. I think with these right here, you need like a super powerful magnet. I think I was watching someone else's channel where they were like, you got to have a really super strong magnet for these to work. So I'm going to try these out with different magnets, maybe in another video. But you all see how when you move the magnet here, it moves those pieces. See how they're moving around. So it kind of creates like the whole eye look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do that one again. And I like to stick to a basic cat eye, but that's just me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do like this. Look at that. That's pretty. Go ahead and cure. Zero, one, two. So I'm going to go ahead and do the cat eye effect on this one. Oh, how cool. Love that. Go ahead and cure. This is how all the colors look from the Galaxy Kitty Collection. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys up closes of this. I do think that these would be served better on a black background. So maybe I'll do a follow-up video or something showing what it looks like. Let's go ahead and give a close look of what all the shifts look like, okay? So this here is 004, and this has a really cool kind of orange, goldish, pinkish, light purpley shift to it. I mean, y'all see how fierce that cat eye is? I absolutely love it. 011, and this one is a really beautiful kind of lavender purple cat eye shift. 007, and this is a really beautiful blue cat eye shift that has a slight pink pinkness to it and this is a 5d cat eye so i think that if i had stronger magnets i'd be able to see more of a color shift in it so i am going to be buying some some new magnets to see if i can get different effects from these polishes zero one zero um and this here has a really beautiful light pink kind of rose gold um shift to it zero one two and i think this one was the most pronounced cat eye um, shift and this is the um, green shift it's absolutely gorgeous it reminds me of an actual cat's eye um, really really beautiful kind of give me snake vibes as well this is cool and last but not least is 009 which is this really beautiful purple shift to the cat eye so these are all the colors from the galaxy kitty collection I absolutely love the shifts in all of these I like that with these like the cat eyes are different colors I feel like a lot of times you either get a silver cat eye or a gold cat eye so it's cool to see different color shifts to it but yeah I'm going to go ahead and bring all the colors out and give you guys my final thoughts on this mystery scoop. Alrighty, so this is what all of the colors look like that I got in my color scoop. And I am absolutely loving the variety, the range, the versatility of all the colors, the uniqueness of the glitters that I've gotten. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys. So the color scoop included 24 polishes total, the four different collections. And so this here up top, this here is the fun gel collection and it um, was a lot of glitter colors. 
Over here was the Precious Minerals collection, which is actually one of my favorites. Um, and I really love that I got two Jelly Nude colors from Enel Couture. I'm going to get a lot of use out of those. Um, and these glitters are just so cool, fun, unique. That black one was so cool. It definitely still gives me those Halloween vibes. Um, I love here in the Gel Polish collection, I got some nice, good standard colors that I'd be able to use. Um, especially this... Um, this hollow glitter here, glitter ombres, you know, on fleek, right? So glitter ombres, I'm becoming hard with my glitter ombres with that. And then I got that uh, Galaxy Kitty collection, which is really cool because it has some really unique shifts to the cat eye. And again, I want to get a stronger magnet so that I can um, see um, what all this cat eye polish can do because I don't think I'm even using it to its fullest ability. So yeah, I love the range. I love the variety and I'm excited about giving all these and I'm excited about putting all these colors to use. All right, you guys. So these are all of the polishes that was included in my color scoop. And I must say, I am very, very happy with all the colors that I got. I'm happy with the different collections that I got to sample from Enel Couture. I think this was a great deal. I mean, this was only 35 bucks and I think I got a 35% off coupon. So I think I only pay, ended up paying like $23, $24 plus shipping for all of these polishes. I mean, they come out to like a buck or two per pop. And honestly, each of these polishes on his website range anywhere from like 10 to $15. I think even some of them might be upwards of 20. Don't quote me on that though, but this was a phenomenal deal. I'm very happy with what I got. Um, and I'm, I'm still in, in disbelief that I got the Galaxy Glitter Collection because that was actually the one that I was really hoping to get with this color scoop as well as some of his fun gels i did want to try some of his top coats and i was hoping that he would have also included some of the press on gels um because that is um some gels that i want to try from him but i am happy because the precious mineral collection is also one of my favorites from him oh even to have those nudes oh my gosh yeah i'm very very happy very very satisfied with all the polishes if you guys haven't checked out the scoops I would highly recommend them. As you all saw at the beginning of the video, I do still have a second Super Scoop to unbox, and it looks like some more polishes were included in that. So uh, that's probably gonna be my next video. I'll go ahead and get that unboxed for you guys um, and show you what I got in my second Super Scoop. If you missed my first Super Scoop and any other Scoop unboxing that I've done at this point, I have a whole playlist uh, that I will leave down in the description box below so you guys can go through and look at all the items that I've gotten from Enel Couture um, over the last couple of months. And I will say, um, I have quite the collection now so I have plenty of his items to kind of play around with uh, but yeah I love everything I got I'm super happy I splurged on this I do believe they're back in stock I saw actually on the website everything is back in stock you guys you got your color scoops you got your super scoops you got um, the regular scoops you got the one two three go scoops and there's plenty of them on there so um, if you guys haven't had a chance to check them out I definitely would recommend it I think I'm all scooped out I do have two more scoops to unbox I have a regular single scoop and then I have a second super scoop. Um, so those will probably be my last two scoop videos that I have. And I'm just going to take time to enjoy and play around with all the products that I've gotten. Because I've gotten quite a few. And I've really been enjoying the stuff. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know, did you get a color scoop? Did you get a super scoop? Have you gotten any scoops at all? And what were your thoughts? Um, i love to hear about it. So yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.